Okay, so it's uh, another evening, and uh, yeah, I'm back in the shed working on the uh, the roll cage. So I've just been working on this for about a couple of hours, just trying to get ahead and show you some progress, basically. So what I've managed to get done, I've managed to get that other foot bolted in, and uh, just trying to avoid, obviously, uh, trying to actually hit any fuel lines. So I pulled the fuel lines out of the way, and then just uh, drilled those two in so that holds it in place we've got that one kind of mocked up over there and now i'm working on this one here so i've got this uh brace here basically just holding the uh the roll cage in place while i put it in and uh we've got our plates mounted out so i've got the the bottom base plate just there and then we've got this plate that i cut down uh in the last clip and uh yeah, so that's looking really good. So what I need to do now is I need to mark these two holes on this bottom plate, drill this out, and do the same that side. Basically just mirroring everything from one side to another, but the general gist is this is going to be bolted down to the floor. Then we're going to drill these holes out here and bolt bigger uh, bolts through this. And then uh, coming up with a few ideas, I was thinking of putting some riv nuts in these ones here in this sheet metal but as you can see there's a nice little contour just there as well so I don't think it's gonna sit very well on this sheet metal so what I'm thinking of doing is this plate here once we tack it to this plate I'm gonna stick a, uh, a nut on the back of this plate drill out a bigger hole than the nut on this so it goes through this section and then we can just bolt it to this because once this is welded to this it will actually all tie in and then it will be bolted down in four places already and doesn't need to be bolted to the side so it's just a reinforcing plate for this part of the leg it doesn't actually need to be bolted to this side uh, seal so what I'm going to do is like I say weld this plate to this one once it's all mocked up and once we've got the holes all drilled that gives us a final resting position and uh, yeah then we can uh, basically go from there so I'm just going to get them drilled out and uh, hopefully make some progress this evening so I've got uh, it's Friday night tonight and I've got all day Sunday as well to work on this so I'm, it, this cage is going to be coming out a few times because I want to get all this in and once it's in I want to do it all nicely and properly the first time right, so I just want to clean up these welds as well grind these back and we'll get the cage out and uh, probably give it a lick of paint so leave it down in the comments down below guys what color do you think i should paint the cage considering the car's red and everything else is staying red um wheels are generally sort of an anthracite gray that I, i'm putting on this car so it could go sort of an anthracite color to match the wheels um but let me know down in the comments guys what you think uh, would look nice in here like i say it's already white but it's been it's been powder coated, so someone spent some money powder coating it. But the powder coat is rough, and uh, it's probably past its best. So we could just touch it up with the white and uh, go from there. So it's got a durable coat, and then just obviously add into it. But the colour won't match, so we'd have to do the whole cage. Uh, so if we're going to do the whole cage, we might as well paint it the colour we like. So that's what's probably going to happen so yeah what we're going to do is once these are all finally uh, finished up we'll get the underneath of the base plate all sprayed cleaned up and then once we're ready we'll spray the base plates up as well get them all cleaned up so they don't obviously rust and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tiger seal these base plates in to create a watertight seal uh, obviously not to actually hold the base plate in but to actually hold the base plate there um, and then obviously keep it watertight so we don't get any water leaks through any of the gaps in the holes in the floor and uh, yeah it will just obviously fix it all together and stop any water leaks on any of the uh, the bolt holes so that's the plan but like I say to do that we're gonna have to have this cage in and out quite a few times to do those jobs one by one and then we've got to let the paint dry because um, I'm going to have to use uh, probably some sort of galv spray or a um, oh, what's it called like an epoxy primer 
underneath these. Let that dry. Do the underneath, obviously, and do all the uh, the holes where it's been drilled out, so we don't, so they can't rust. And then, once that's all done, then we'll paint it probably the same colour as the car, so we'll get the red back on it. Spray that down, and then once that's fully cured, because obviously the weather's being really cold, it's going to take a while for it to cure properly. We are then going to. Uh, put the tiger seal down and put the base plate on top of that so it's got a final resting place and it will hold it nicely and uh, stop any water basically leaking in and getting to the back of the uh, floor there and stopping it rusting out on that structural point now that you've got for a roll cage so obviously you don't want the uh, floor to rust where you've just drilled those holes out and then as soon as you come to an accident it just the roll cage just punches it way, its way through the floor so yeah, that's the plan. That's the general gist of things. But like I say, there's loads of little small steps. Pretty easy stuff. Not too bad. It's just time consuming. Um, just getting one job done at a time. Um, I've got these plates. That's the other half of the plate that's going next to the cage. So that basically what I've done is I've cut a full one down like that. And uh, so it was like that basically. It was a full plate. And then what I'm going to do is, with this side of the plate, because that matches the same profile as them, this is going to be used as a packer underneath the car on all four corners. So like this one here as well. So when we go to bolt these holes in here, that's the old roll cage, forget that. So we're going to fill those holes in. Uh, yeah, that will match that profile. The only reason I'm doing that is because this section here is covered with brake lines. So I can't put any plates down there, apart from maybe some very small square uh, profile washers like I used on my vice over there. But we're going to be able to get one of these, hopefully there, and then that will sandwich the floor between this plate and that one. And it just gives it a bit more strength, basically, underneath the car. And uh, we're not just using the sheet metal then to... Uh, rely on these bolts to go through so we've got something substantial to go through there these are five mil plate you can get away with three mil plate but this is what i wanted to use and uh yeah it's going to be a lot more durable than a three mil plate so it's going to be as strong as possible so yeah that's the plan and uh yeah that's where we're going with this like i say it's just going to take some time to get all these steps done but i want to do it properly while the car's off the road and um while it's winter, obviously we've got some time. And uh, and then hopefully we can get it back on the road for the summer. And uh, she should be looking really good once again. We've got to paint the outside of the car, that's to come. And then my other plans is to sort something out with this roof. I'm having a few problems trying to source a full roof that's non-sunroof. Um, it's... Because, because these cars are quite rare, and even getting a Phase uh, 1, um, a Mark 1, just a basic model I could get, they're, they come up and they're littered all over the country, then you've got to buy the whole shell, get it back, and then cut it up. It's not looking feasible for what it is. So, so as you can see, the actual roof's cracking there, basically, where it was. And obviously I knew that would happen at some point, but... Yeah, and then as you can see there, you can see it's got quite a flat contour to where the sunroof was. Um, so what I've been contemplating is getting some uh, carbon fibre twill weave, 2K I think it is, uh, weave, and actually laying some carbon fibre down on this roof and... Um, just trying to take up some of this profile basically and uh, yeah might even possibly cut all this roof out and leave a nice inch lip around here and we can just bond the carbon fiber panel back on obviously we'd have to go up to the edge of this uh, windscreen here and just try and tuck it underneath this uh, this piece of uh, trim here and then obviously we would go underneath these trims take these off and then we tuck it right up inside the gutter. And uh, yeah, should have some, a nice seamless 
piece of carbon fiber and then just roll it back off over this lip and come down here basically and then we've got a nice full piece of carbon fiber to cover the uh the entirety of this roof and then it should look quite nice and if it doesn't come out quite nice with the actual carbon fiber weave because i've never done it before it's um it wouldn't bother me and i could actually just rub it all down and just paint it the same color as the car it's just knowing that I've got the right profile of the roof and it's a bit better than this because this actually, uh, in the winter, it actually leaked slightly. So it's not too good, basically. Um, like I said, the guy before had this. He he um, he had an aluminium sheet that was on the top and then just riveted it to the roof, but it just made a mess of the roof, basically. It just made it all wavy and horrible and I didn't like the look of it. So I don't really want to go back that route. That's why I wanted to do a full carbon sheet, if you like, over the roof as, as a skin to um, cover any of these sort of imperfections that are on the roof and sort of go from there, really. We're not trying to save really any weight. Probably, if anything, it's probably going to add a little bit of weight. But it will look a bit nicer and it will make this roof a little bit stronger because at the minute you can touch this roof and it just bows in can't think where the weak spot is it's there there like that so it's not not great really I do want a bit more strength in the roof than that and um, when where that's flexing that's obviously opening the crack for the uh, edge of the uh, filler that was on here so that might be a plan for future and uh, if any of you guys got any ideas about that or know about carbon fiber hit it down in the comments down below and i can read them and get some advice from you because i've never done any carbon fiber laying uh wet lay and uh yeah that'll be the the plan try and do it on a budget obviously you don't want to spend thousands on it don't want to be cutting out the roof and laying in a single piece that's fully molded and things like that just want to do like a skim layer that will cover it and stop the water leaks and uh, just make the roof look a little bit nicer and actually follow the contours rather than sort of coming over here like contour here and then just going flat basically on this bit of roof here which you can see quite noticeably when you stand this side of it you can see that's quite flat and then you sort of stand there and you can see there's a nice curve to the roof so yeah that's the plan anyway so like i said i'm going to crack on with this uh this roll cage get this done hopefully i can bang out most of this by the weekend and uh might even hopefully get this finished completely and then we can move on to other stuff, get the rest of this uh, rust proofing done. And uh, that uh, other leg and under seal the underneath of the car. And I also want to under seal the seals on the side of the car. They're starting to look a bit crusty at the minute. So I want to try and grab that before it gets right through because it has been repaired once. Um, but it seems to have opened up the seam again. These cars just seem to want to just rust like mad. Um, so yeah, we've got some we've got some body work to do. Uh, I want to work on these arches as well. They're a little bit ripply, and uh, just clean them up because we're going to be doing this. We're going to be painting this car again, back in the uh, back in the summer. Well, as as the summer comes round, so we're going to paint this car again. We are not doing anything expensive, nothing too costly, and probably going to go down the rattle can. Uh, route again because it's already been rattle canned and looks absolutely fine uh, I just ran out of paint and it was quite expensive at the time it's about seven pound a can I think it is uh, for color matched paint for the car so I want to keep it the same color as the car originally came in I don't want to paint it just any old red or a black uh, flat uh, black uh, matte black like most people have just to save cost I want to keep it the original color um, so that's the general plan of everything to come. Um, luckily with the boot when I got this, this was capsicum red already. So I don't have to worry about painting the inside of this. It's pretty clean actually on the inside of this. Probably cleaner than my old one. Um, so that's pretty decent. We've just got to actually physically clean it rather than actually paint it. But the outside will get painted. And once we do all the tiger sealing, I'm going to tackle this as well. Get this filled in, body fill this over. And then hopefully we'll have a nice strong uh, plate here. I've, I've been waiting to do it and I've got the plates down here as well to do them. Uh, like I showed you in previous videos. 
So they're ready to go. I just want to. Problem is when you open a cat, uh, one of those um, tubes of Tiger Seal, they go absolutely rock hard, and they're eleven pound a go. So if you use just a little bit, it's hard to keep them uh, soft. You, I've tried foil over them, plastic bags, everything to try and stop the air getting to it, but um, give it a couple of months, and the whole tube just goes rock hard. So I want to try and do all the Tiger Seal jobs, if you like, all in one hit. Um, to maximise the most of that tube, basically. I think I've got two tubes of the stuff. Um, yeah, I might have two, or I might even have one. Yeah, but I've definitely got one up there, so that'll do the job. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop waffling, get on with this, and basically uh, get some progress done. And uh, hopefully, this should come out really nice, and we're... Uh, have a full roll cage basically in the car so it should look really smart <clears throat> okay guys so uh yeah a bit of an update so what i've done is I've basically got that side all drilled out and uh put in position and then we've gone over to this side and basically done exactly the same got the plate sandwiched behind it just to uh mock it all up and uh, we need to cut another one of these basically this uh plate at the back so we got the two main bolts in, like I said, we just need to drill the two front bolts. And then we got the same done over this side that I showed you before. And uh, yeah, that's probably where I'm going to leave it for this evening. And uh, probably tackle it uh, again on Sunday. But it's coming along really nicely. And uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, gives you a bit of knowledge towards fitting your own cage if you're a bit worried about doing it yourself. Obviously, you need certain tools and stuff like that. Obviously, I've got a lot of tools on on hand here. But, uh, yeah, basically, it gives you a rough gist of uh, fitting in a, a bolt-in cage. You can, there's loads of videos on YouTube showing you how to do it. And uh, I just thought this was the best way to do it for my application, basically. So, yeah, um, we're, get, we're getting, you know... We're getting some decent progress done on this and I'm um, quite happy with how it's turning out. And hopefully, I'll say Sunday, we can knock out the rest and uh, should have all the holes fitted and aligned and then we'll be ready to take the cage back out and do all those jobs that I told you about before. So, yeah, like I say, it's coming on really nicely and I'm really happy with the progress with it so far. So, yeah, if you like the video, guys, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe and share if you're uh, new around here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.